Hi, I'm Sarah and today I'm going to be talking to you and showing you some activities you can do with classification and sorting. It's really important to make sure your child understands how to sort and to classify objects. This helps with their brain development, sorting, recycling, getting the right things in the right places um, and ongoing through schooling so they can classify colours, numbers, letters and pop them all in the right groups. Um, so I've got my little sensory tray here again um, to has like a couple of different objects that we can explore together. Um, so while you're doing this, you can pretty much put anything you want in here, um, just of different things that you can talk to your child about. Um, we've got here some fabric um, shape cards that we also use for memory games. But it's really exciting when you do memory games with children, you can talk about not only the shape, um, but the colour, um, and you can make your own at home. Um, and then you can also play the memory game where you flip them over, and then you could sort them out into their groupings as well of colour or shape. And then we've got wood objects. So you've got wood objects, and then you could also make note of metal objects, so the sound, how it looks and how it feels, how is that different, um, you know, what different properties does it have and that you could ongoing classify them as different wood and metal objects. Um, you could throw in some unusual objects, so we've got some recycled little people here that are all different um, colours and different sizes, so you could sort them into sizes um, together like this with the same size or you could sort them into their same colours or again you could do sorting them down in their different sizes, each of the groups. So that's a really good activity because you can also recognise smaller, medium and large and how that works all together. Um, we've got a, another little activity that you can do at home. Um, this is just a coin box that we've repainted to be colours um, here. And we've got some all different counters from different board games that we had at home. And you could get your children to have a big pile of them and they could work on it together to count and sort out the different colours. And they could do counting why they did it. You could talk about the, the colours. These ones in particular have got see-through, so you could pop them together and talk about what blue and yellow make green. Um, so you can do some really exciting things um, with a really simple object at home. Um, but I hope this helps you um, share some sorting and categorising with your children at home.